During this tutorial video, we will be discussing the science standards for Texas 7.13a, 7.13b, and 7.7c. We'll be discussing external stimuluses and plant response, um, internal stimulus like wilting in plants, as well as trigger pressure and geotropism. So, to get started, a tropism is a plant's response to an external stimuli. So external means it's coming from outside of the plant. We're going to be talking about four types of tropisms in this tutorial video. So if you'd like to follow along, get out a piece of paper and some markers or matte pencils. I'm going to divide my paper into four sections. The first one we're going to talk about is phototropism. Phototropism, if you look at the word, it starts with photo. And photo means light. So a photograph is a picture taken with light. Uh, photosynthesis has been discussed in another video. It means to use light to build something or put something together. So what tropism or what phototropism means here is how a plant is responding to light. So for our example, we have a light bulb. This could be in a classroom somewhere could also be like the sun and it has light growing and if you plant your, your plant a little further away we know that as the plant grows it ends up growing towards that needed light so this is a positive growth because it's growing towards the light and um, it's positive phototropism. So phototropism, when a plant responds to light, lights the external stimulus in this case. Another tropism that we have discussed is geotropism or gravitropism. Geo meaning earth. So when you talk about geology, um, that's the study of the earth. And gravitropism is pretty easy. It has to do with gravity. The hard part about gravitropism is that we're talking about roots and as well as the stem. So if this is my soil, then the roots of my plant are going to grow down towards gravity. So when a seed, when roots emerge from a seed, they automatically know that they need to grow towards gravity and the roots are pulled down. When the stem grows, it grows away from gravity. And because it's growing away in the opposite direction of gravity, it's said to have negative geotropism. And that's the biggest struggle I've seen for students is that distinguishing between negative and positive. So in this case, a negative tropism is when it grows away. So this negative geotropism is growing away from gravity. And this positive with the roots is growing towards gravity in the direction that gravity pulls it down. Now if you have a potted plant and it were to fall on its side, that potted plant would actually um, grow based on the way that gravity is pulling it. So the roots would gr start to grow down and the stem of the plant would actually bend up away from gravity. So a lot of the times we think, well, the stem is growing up because of phototropism. And that's the case. In space, when they've grown plants, the stems respond to light because there is no gravity. But the, when the seed emerges, when this, the baby plant emerges from the seed, the stem knows to go away from gravity, negative geotropism, and the roots know to grow down towards gravity, which is positive geotropism. Another type of tropism that we've talked about is thigmatropism. A good way to remember what thigmatropism is is it starts with a T. And our external response here is touch. Touch also starts with a T. So there's several examples of thigmatropism that we can discuss. There's the tickle me not plant where you touch it and it closes. The plant leaves leaflet looks something like this and it's open and it's happy and then you touch it and it closes up 
It doesn't like to be touched, and it makes it smaller, possibly to keep it from being eaten by herbivores. Um, another response that you might see is when you have a plant that grows up, let's say, a fence. So ivy and grapevines do this. They look for something that they can attach to, and they tend to curve around it and grow up it. That would be positive thigmotropism. When it touches the side, it, cur it causes those cells to curve so that it can actually attach to it and work its way up and be closer to the sunlight. So thigmotropism starts with a T, so does touch. Touch is an external stimulus for plants. The last one we're going to talk about is hydrotropism. Anytime you see this prefix, hydro, we're talking about water. So um, the way that this could work is if you have a plant, let's say this is a cross section of a pot, and in this pot I have a bucket with small holes planted so the water can seep into the soil in this location and then I have a plant planted and the roots, I'm going to use red this time for the roots the roots will grow towards their water source and that's um, positive hydrotrophism With hydrotropism, you have roots that grow towards the water source. Um, it might also be that they're near, they like water, and and they grow in in areas that are um, that have standing water, things like bald cypresses that have little knobby roots, so they can get oxygen and carbon dioxide from the air. Um, so this is. Tropisms, which is a plant response to external stimulus. Photo, meaning light. Plant's response to light. Geotropism, meaning gravity, earth. Earth has gravity. And it's a plant's response to gravity. The roots grow down, that's positive. The stem grows away from gravity, that's negative. Thigmotropism is touch. You can have like a vine growing up something because it touches it, or the plant that closes when you touch it. We also discuss hydrotropism, which is a plant's response to water.